Hey YouTube! In this tutorial I will show you how to get rid of the Roblox error that says this game may not function as intended. The developer needs to update the game. This error seems to occur right after you create and publish a new game with Roblox Studio. When you visit your game's start place page on roblox.com and this is an example of a start place. You see right here it says start place and then you can click the link to your game and then there is the error message right there. Now there may be more than one way to remove the error message but uh, here is what worked for me. And in this example just follow along and I will create a simple test game that I'm using just for the demonstration purposes of this tutorial. So step one is just log in to roblox.com in your web browser and then click the create link at the top menu like this. Next you're going to click this uh, create new game button and I'm just going to use the uh, one of the pre-made game templates. We'll just use this one called village. So I select village I scroll down and I click the green create game button and there it is by default it's set to private and your newest created game will should show up at the top here first thing you're gonna do is you'll click this little gear icon with the drop-down menu and then you'll select configure a game Next, you can uh, just rename this. I'm just going to call it uh, Test Roblox Game. And then you want to change the privacy to public. Then click the Save button. Okay, now your game has officially been created. So now we'll go back to the main uh, Create page. And then you will see it right there and you can tell that your game is public by this green little square icon with an eye in it and it will say public on it so now step two so your game's ready to go so now we want to go ahead and try testing it out just click on the link here and right now it shows the error message but uh, we're going to try to just go ahead and play it anyway to get uh, everything moving along. Alright, so for the first time I'm not going to play it that long because usually you have to make a couple of changes, change a couple of settings publish it and then restart a few other things but I'll just play for a few few seconds here just for fun and I'll be right back okay I'm gonna go ahead and close the game and then what we want to do is we want to make a couple of changes to the game and update it and see if that gets rid of the error so I'll go to create I'll go back, find my game here at the top, and you want to click this gray edit button, which will open up Roblox Studio. And it'll take just a minute. And here it is. This is just the default village game. So the first thing you want to do when you get Roblox Studio open is uh, go to the View section. And then you want to uh, make sure that these two are selected, Explorer and Properties. So you see Explorer and Properties. 
Next, uh, check on the right side and select this uh, Earth little icon that says Workspace. Go down here to the Properties, and then you want to make sure that this uh, Filtering Enabled option is checked. So make sure it's checked. And step three, the next step you want to do is just add a couple of parts and maybe a spawn point to the game. So what we'll do is we'll click the model section. Then I'm just going to add a couple of cubes here. And I did that, I just click this part thing right here and it'll automatically make a little cube. All right, let's see here. Scale it up a little bit. And I'll just copy and I'll make another one just for fun. And then we will add a spawn point. You can click this to add a spawn. And I'm just going to move it and put it right here. Okay, now we can just try saving and publishing the game. So I'm going to go to the file menu and I'll put uh, save to Roblox. And then I'm going to just also do publish to Roblox. And once that is done, the updated version of the game should be ready to play on Roblox.com. All right, so now we're back to Roblox.com. And uh, just make sure at the create section. And then when you do an update, it may have to update the, uh, the game's icon. But let's go check it out. We'll click on the game again and see if the error message is still there. there. So the error message is still there, so that didn't work. So now we need to try playing it another time to see if that updates the Roblox servers at all. All right. So I'm just going to try playing it again so you can see the spawn point I just created and the two parts are now in the game. So we know that we're playing the new newest version. So I'm just going to play this for a couple minutes and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I've been playing for a couple of minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and quit the game again and see if there are any changes. So I'll go ahead and quit. And then I'm going to go ahead and reload the game page. And it is still there. So sometimes this will work pretty quickly in a few minutes. Uh, other times it may take longer. And if your error is still showing after doing this a couple of times, there uh, are still a few things you can do. Uh, the one thing is you may just simply have to be patient and wait a couple hours or more, maybe even a day, to get it to update on uh, the Roblox server end. Another thing you can do is ask uh, some of your friends to play your game. Uh, if they have a different computer or a mobile device or a gaming console, try on uh, try to get a few people, different people to play it, and that might update it quicker. Uh, you can also try editing your game again, adding more objects to it, saving it, publishing it and see if that updates it. Uh, you may even try to favoriting it, giving it a like. Just anything to kind of send a signal to the Roblox servers that there's some kind of activity going on. And that's about it. From there, uh, you may just have to play the waiting game. Uh, 
one game. Here's a game I made that uh, properly has uh, removed the error message. So sometimes it's just a matter of waiting a couple of days. I did find a forum post. Uh, it looks like there was a reply from a staff member at Roblox. Uh, you can see it here. And this was posted yesterday. And this is uh, January 12th, 2021. And it says, Roblox will be removing this warning soon because all games have had filtering enabled for a while now. The change should be released within the next week. Thank you for your patience. So it's possible that this problem may be going away soon. But anyway, if uh, you're still having problems with the error, have a question, or need additional help, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help. And that's all for now. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Thank you and good luck.